Our Suvidan, take us through what that drive will look like and uh, tell us also what has changed about the flyover. It was shut for the last two months for expansion. So what all has changed in those two months that didn't exist earlier? Tell us that while you take a ride on that flyover. Well, that's right, Priyanshi. So remember, uh, this flyover was uh, shut for two months and it was under construction. And uh, this was this whole project is being built at a really staggering cost of 125 crore rupees. So now basically, remember, uh, while this was under construction, there were a lot of traffic jams because of the construction. People were facing a lot of difficulty in getting public transport as well. But now, as you can see, this, uh, you know, this flyover is now open, this 1.4 kilometer stretch, the six lane, um, you know, flyover. Now, of course, light motor vehicles will be allowed on this particular uh, highway. Heavy vehicles are still not allowed uh, because what we are being told by Delhi government is that uh, they were, it will take time for them to actually uh, prepare the highway for heavy vehicles uh, so of course they need to shift poles accordingly etc uh, but for now light motor vehicles as you can see are already allowed on this particular flyover now right. uh, if this flyover weren't there and we were actually taking the ride uh, through uh, the heart of Delhi now this Mathura road this ring road for those of uh, our viewers who are from Delhi it's a very busy intersection uh, you know there is no streamlining as far as traffic is concerned but now as you can see for our viewers it's an absolutely smooth ride with and and there are no traffic signals if I can just ask my camera person to show you there is an absolutely smooth road and there are no traffic signals on the way uh, so that is, of course, a plus uh, for commuters, and there are six lanes. So it's it's envisaged as uh, uh, something uh, which will be commuter friendly. You know, that's what the bid is. Uh, the, the 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 part coming from um, Noida to Delhi. That has not been open yet. If I can just ask my camera person to show you that also, that will be thrown open tomorrow morning. Right. Is what we are being. Told. So, of course, uh, this is a plus for Delhiites, uh, given the fact that now their travel time will be brought down and uh, at the same time, they will be able to avoid busy intersections and busy traffic uh, signals as well. In fact, a lot of people that we were speaking to in the morning, they said that traffic uh, uh, signals have streamlined traffic, yes, but they, it has really increased their, uh, their tra travel time. So, there, of course, you can see, this is a visual that uh, must be shown that because the flyover is not open, there is this traffic jam on the other side. So that will also be reduced once the flyover is open for commuters coming from Noida to Delhi, Priyanshi. Vidant, I think that visual just clearly puts that picture in one frame, the contrast. That on one way, you don't have that ashram flyover and that's why you can see that heavy traffic. But on the other way, uh, it's a completely smooth road because the flyover has been opened. But uh, don't worry because the other side of the flyover is also going to be uh, reopened tomorrow as Vedant mentioned. So it is definitely good news, Vedant, for people who travel from Delhi to Noida for their work, for shopping or for any other purposes. But let's talk about the traffic of Delhi at large. And I, for one, have reduced my driving because just how bad uh, traffic is in Delhi. So an argument is that more flyovers mean more traffic in Delhi. What, what can you tell us about that and what could this flyover add to that entire argument? You see, Priyanka, that's a very uh, valid question. In fact, experts have said constantly that adding more and more roads and flyovers would not necessarily mean that Delhi is... This is, uh, you know, the other flyover that the ashram uh, extension actually connects it to. So this flyover is already in place. Now, the fact is that experts say that ultimately we have to build a strong public transport ecosystem to actually solve the traffic congestion problem in the long run. Because uh, more and more flyovers would also, in a sense, increase vehicle demand and demand for personalized vehicles. And that would, in the long term, mean more traffic congestion and ultimately more air pollution because remember Priyanshi 60% of Delhi's air pollution is caused by vehicles I mean look at the volume of vehicles actually here in Delhi uh, if I can ask my camera person to show you of course this is uh, you know not the peak hour the peak hour is actually the office time between 6.30 to 8 and the volume of traffic in Delhi of course has been rising constantly so for that a, a strong public transport ecosystem needs to be built uh, you know this is what experts have been pointing out and in fact other things uh, such as you know more bicycle tracks more footpaths uh, you know cheaper metro 
all these things have also be, uh, all they also have to be put on priority to actually make sure that in the long term we actually uh, put focus on streamlining traffic congestion priyanshi